Hey guys, I'd like to walk you through the process of creating and installing a Facebook tracking pixel for your website. There are a couple of different ways that you can place this tracking pixel on your website, and I'll go through all of those ways in a second. But first, we need to create the pixel. The first thing we're going to do is log in to business.facebook.com, and that will log you into your business manager account, and you should land on a dashboard that looks just like this. Now, if you've already created your ad accounts, you'll see them listed here. I have two of them, WP Smackdown and Escape Creative. You can either just click on the name of that ad account and it will open up the ad account manager for you, or you can go to business settings and ad accounts and it will list them on that page and you can get to them from there. I'm gonna go ahead and click on Escape Creative and that will open up the ads manager for that account. The reason that we open up the specific ad account is because you can only have one Facebook tracking pixel per ad account. So we can only set it up one time. So once you come in here and set it up for the first time, that Facebook pixel will take care of everything that you need to do from tracking to retargeting to running all of your Facebook ads to your conversions. Everything is handled with the one tracking pixel. So once you land here on the ads manager for the account, You'll navigate up to Tools and click on Pixels. And here you'll get this screen. Just one thing to note is we're using the new Facebook Pixel. Uh, I highly recommend that we only focus with that one. There is still the old tracking pixel here, but we're just going to be concerned with the new Facebook Pixel. So go ahead and click the Create a Pixel button. Just give your pixel a name. Again, it should be something that represents your business, and this is the only pixel that we can have for this ad account. So just keep it something nice and simple. Make sure that you leave this box checked and you agree to the terms, and go ahead and click Create Pixel. You should see a pop-up window that looks something like this. This is for a pixel that I've already created, so your screen might look slightly different, but what you're gonna have on the screen is your Facebook pixel code, and we're just gonna install the base tracking pixel. We're not going to put any specific custom conversions on right now. For a lot of people, all you'll need is the base tracking pixel. You can get more in-depth with a custom pixel, but we won't go into that for this tutorial. So what you need to do is copy this code that's listed here, and we're going to then follow a couple of different ways that we can paste this onto our website. So go ahead and copy this code here, and just click Done. If you'd like to install your Facebook Pixel directly on your theme, you can do that by opening up the header.php file. Keep in mind that anytime you change themes, you'll need to make sure that you put your tracking pixel on the new theme that you create. So this is theme dependent, so be a little careful as you're switching themes. We want to find the head section of the website, so let's look for this closing head tag right here. And we're just going to go right above it and we're going to paste our Facebook pixel code in right there. Then just make sure you save this file and use an FTP program to upload this file back onto your site. You can install the Facebook pixel using a popular plugin called Insert Headers and Footers. You can go ahead to Plugins and Add New and search for Insert Headers and Footers Go ahead and install and activate that plugin. Once you do that, you can come down to your settings menu and you'll see insert headers and footers, and that'll bring you to this page here. The benefit to using a plugin like this over pasting the Facebook pixel directly in your theme is that you can change themes as many times as you'd like, and you never have to worry about that code uh, being missing from your new theme because it'll always be contained in this plugin. So as long as you have this plugin active, you can change your themes as many times as you'd like and your Facebook pixel will remain intact. So all we're going to do is take that code we copied from a previous step and come up here and scripts in the header and click in that box and go ahead and paste your Facebook tracking pixel in that box. As soon as you click save, then your changes are saved and your Facebook pixel is active. We can install our Facebook Pixel using Google Tag Manager. If you guys aren't familiar with Google Tag Manager, then that's beyond the scope of this tutorial. 
but if you are already familiar with it and already using it on your website, then you can easily add your Facebook Pixel using Tag Manager. So go ahead and click on the account that you want to add it to. And let's go to add a new tag. Let's give our tag a name. I'm going to call it Facebook Pixel Base Code because this is just the base tracking pixel with no customizations to it. It is a custom HTML tag, so we'll go ahead and click on that. Here in this HTML box, we're just going to paste that tracking pixel code there. Click on continue. And the last step is that we want it to fire on all pages. So you click on all pages as the trigger, and then click create tag. As with anything with Google Tag Manager, make sure once you're finished, you come up here. You can preview it first to make sure that it is in place. And when you're ready, just make sure that you publish your changes so that the tracking pixel um, is inserted onto your site. After you've installed your Facebook Pixel, a great thing to do is to double check and make sure that Facebook can see it. So there is a Chrome extension, so you need to be using the Google Chrome browser. And then you can go ahead and search for FB Pixel Helper in the Chrome Extensions web store. Once you go ahead and click this button, I've already added mine to Chrome, but you can add yours by clicking this button up here. Once you do that, go ahead and navigate to your website. And you should see one of your extensions up here in Chrome is this blue code looking thing. And I see a one in a green box. That's a good sign. So this is the fix Facebook Pixel Helper extension. You'll see here that it says one pixel was found on WPSmackdown.com. So that means that the pixel loaded successfully. And that's what you want to see. If you have any errors here, you can go ahead and click View Event Log, and that'll help you troubleshoot the problem. But this will confirm that you've installed your Facebook Pixel correctly. The last thing I recommend that you do is you navigate back to your Tools and Pixel screen in the Facebook Business Manager. And here we'll just confirm day by day. It will show you how much traffic that Pixel has received. This again just confirms over here you'll see that the status is active, and this confirms that your Pixel is indeed set up correctly. So I hope you guys like that tutorial. If you have any questions or any challenges installing your Facebook Pixel, just leave a comment and I will help you out as best I can. See you for the next video.